Hello folks, good afternoon. Earthmaster jumping in here real quick with an update video on a 6-pointer, 6.0 earthquake uh, coming into the Indonesia area. Uh, it does look fairly deep as well. Notice the ring, that's a large ring uh, raised off of the globe fairly um, sufficiently it looks like. It is in that area that has been seeing a cluster of earthquake activity just south of the Philippines, north of the Banda Sea region. Now, Let's see, uh, USGS, I don't believe, is reporting on this yet. Stand by for just a second. Uh, bring up the USGS map. Nothing coming in here from the USGS in regards to that earthquake activity yet. This is just preliminary data uh, from the EMSC model. And that's going to be this earthquake right here. Uh, well, wow, that's kind of a crazy downgrade. That was a 6.3 to 4.3, is that correct? That would be one heck of a downgrade. You guys see that? Well, I don't know. Maybe we clicked on the wrong one. I think we did. <laughs> 6.0, it looks like. Either way, a little bit of a downgrade from a 6.3 that they originally um, picked up on. 150 kilometers deep. Now, that is a fairly deep earthquake for this area. Uh, looks like they're still setting it uh, 6.3. But then again, remember, source parameters not yet been reviewed by a, a uh, seismologist. Nothing coming in yet from the USGS. Uh, but remember this area here, prone to some very large earthquakes. Uh, I pulled up this area just around the Banda Sea, south of the Philippines, Maluka Sea. This region can see some very large earthquakes. The last earthquake here was a 7.6, uh, just around the Banda Sea area, the plate boundary down here, uh, earlier this year, just um, a short time ago looks like and then prior to that we had a 7.3 back in 2021 now uh, largest magnitudes within this region they can get uh, way up there 8.5 8.2 uh, a lot of eight pointers in this area i'm starting to wonder now uh, with all of this uh, cluster of movement here in the area that that's not maybe what it's leaning towards something much bigger uh, in that area the last eight pointer was uh let's see when was that looks like 1965 uh, was when the last 8.2 came in uh, to the area right around the region where we're seeing that uh, current earthquake activity. Let's go over here to um, this area. Yeah, it's right uh, kind of, uh, let me zoom in here just a little bit. Having to use the EMSC model again because the USGS is not up on it yet. But I'm sure they will be, right? It takes them a little while to get in there. Um, yeah, just right here around this area. Uh, where this earthquake activity is occurring. But uh, yeah, 8.2 back in 1965. Um, looks like uh, the 60s was a good uh, couple years there for some eight pointers. Either way, uh, large earthquake activity, no stranger here to this region of the um, Banda Sea northward uh, into this area, Maluka Sea region. So, alrighty, um, we'll keep an eye on things. It is, again, in that cluster of earthquakes that we've been watching. Oh, literally, over the past couple days, there's just been a huge cluster of earthquake activity there in that region. All building up, you know, all, all definitely pointing towards something here in this area. And we have not seen that, uh, that boundary broken. And that boundary, meaning this plate dynamic here, this plate line, this red line here, uh, a lot of times we'll see that earthquake train of movement stretch across here. Well, right now it's stuck. Uh, it appears to be halted here at the northern end of the Java Trench. No activity northward around that plate boundary. Uh, so therefore we're back building continuously uh, with all this earthquake activity and pressure from the west. The Pacific Plate here moving a lot of uh, momentum in that area. Uh, so we'll continue to watch it, folks, and report on it. Uh, USGS just a little slow to the game so we'll go ahead and get this video uploaded and we will chat you guys a little bit later on tonight have a good one and uh, stay safe out there